The great first principle of walking with the Lord is that no act is innately secular or spiritual. You can serve tables in a diner in a high Christian spirit, and you can preach the gospel in a secular spirit. What matters in the Christian life is not the outward act, but the spirit in which you perform the act. A secular act done to the glory of God is spiritual. A religious act done in a secular spirit is secular. This great first principle of the Christian life governs every activity you do from the most mundane to the most sublime. It's what Paul communicates to the church at Corinth and to believers everywhere, even to where you are living right now, when he says, Therefore, whatever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Whatever and all are all-encompassing. They cover everything you do, whether in public or in private. This rule of life is vital for applying in those areas of life that the Bible is silent on, such as the entertainment you watch and the career you, you pursue. The Bible doesn't say you can't watch Game of Thrones, for example, and it doesn't say you can't earn your living by authoring smutty novels, but can you do those things to the glory of God? That's your yardstick. Now this raises the question, can you masturbate to the glory of God? Can you get alone and pleasure yourself believing that what you are doing pleases God? Can you play with yourself believing that your solo sexual activity honors God? Do you glorify God when you satisfy yourself? If someone peers in the window and sees you doing the act, will you lead them by your example to praise God and embrace his gospel? The answers to these questions are self-evident. You glorify God when you entertain reverential and holy thoughts about him, when you obey his laws, when you thank him for his providential kindnesses, when you advance his plans and interests, and when you act in ways that draw people closer to Jesus. Any act that you and I do that falls short of this standard fails to glorify God. I would go a step further. Masturbating dishonors God. So if you can't do it to the glory of God, don't do it.